Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be a little bit of a shop with me. We are going to head over to Bath and Body Works and see all the new spring stuff. I know they just put out the new floor set, so I really want to check everything out, give it a sniff. I have a ton of um, free item coupons. I actually have one that runs out next week, so I'm probably going to use that one. Um, and then I have like five more that don't run out till like March. So I definitely am planning on picking up at least one thing, but I really just want to sniff all the new stuff and share that with you guys. So let's head on over to the store. All right, we are here at Bath Body Works. I'm about to head on in, use up one of my coupons, and we shall see what they have. All right, guys, let's head on in. So we do have the Among the Clouds right in the front, and I think this packaging is like absolutely gorgeous. I love the vibrant colors. I think it is perfect for this time of year and like this transition period. And the shower gel is almost like the prettiest thing there because it's like this iridescent purple packaging, so pretty. Um, the spray, this is the moisturizing body wash. I was looking at the price, $17.95 so you cannot use a coupon on it. And they have this lip ritual set, but it's not my favorite. I wish they had a scrub in there. That would really make it worth it. And then the perfume, I'll show you guys the bottle. It's beautiful up front. So that one is also beautiful. They have the bar soap. They have the foaming hand soap, which is $7.95. Um, I think they upped the price from $7.50 to $7.95. These new boutique signature three wick can or one wick candles, they're too expensive though. <laughs> and then they also have it in mini body care and the three wick candle and the shapeable soap, the whipped body butter. I was looking if it was a like lotion, but it is not. And they have it in mini form as well. So I think that's really good. And they have more of these little candles. I would not get them unless they were on a really good sale. Um, they do have some classic scents back. I wanted to smell this one, tea tree and fresh mint. The tea tree though was like, way overpowering and it was super strong so i did not enjoy that one but would be a good one for like a you know relaxing nighttime kind of candle but they do have peach bellini champagne toast white tea and sage just like the basic scents there's nothing new going on in this single wick collection um and they do have this beautiful three wicks for the springtime pineapple mango this is like when they release the basically summer stuff when it's still winter time they they do this every year and i don't know why but i have to say radiant sky is one of my favorites from this newer collection it has rays of sunshine golden mango and golden mango and lychee which oh my god it smelled really good and this beautiful little heart um wallflower plug so cute now we do have this new set and there is cloud nine in here came coming back from last year this is 1350 for the shower gel i do like this packaging on here um, i think it's very minimal i think they kind of um upped the packaging for this one um and i think it looks really nice i don't know i enjoy it so those come in the body lotion body cream shower gel and the fine fragrance mist in all of those scents and fresh coconut and cotton is the only one that i saw that had minis they had the mini body cream and the mini mist for that one um, and then they still have some more oh here's me showing the mist but they still have some more vanilla mocha martini and some what is that one starlit night i think and the uh, faceted oh that's champagne toast um, in the faceted collection they did have a random just pink peach blossom hand sanitizer in this gorgeous little um bag this little rainbow bag was so cute some more champagne toast lip gloss which they've had this for a while and then i found this dry brush which pretty cool i have not seen this before from bath and body works but it was 12.95 you can definitely get one for cheaper from like eco tools from target or walmart for like seven or eight bucks so i would not buy it here um, but they do also have indigo dreams in this collection not my favorite scent i i just don't like that one <laughs> um this gorgeous wallflower which i've noticed they've started doing the um the scent control ones on most of the wallflowers so that's cool and then we have sun blooms and suede again not one of my favorite scents but it is very beautiful packaging and then we have this nice tropical collection which is way overpriced um but if you like them go for it we have fiji sunshine which is 
Fiji Sunshine Guava Teeny from last year. We have Beautiful Day coming back again. And we have Pastel Skies, which I love the packaging on Pastel Skies the most. I, If any of them that I would pick up, I would pick up Pastel Skies. I just think that one is my favorite and it's so gorgeous. The purple to pink ombre I think is just beautiful. So that one is my favorite from this little collection, but that is this repackaged one. And they did have the minis, which I was carrying this around. I'm like, maybe I should buy this, maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. <laughs> and here's just the back of that collection. Um, but I did not end up picking that up because it was $9.95. That is so expensive for a mini. Um, we do have a new aromatherapy collection. This one is Simply Unwind, and this is Sandalwood and Vanilla. This one did smell pretty good. They have the body scrub right here for $19.95. Um, there is the Uplifting Boost one, which is Neroli, what is it? Neroli Blossom and Bergamot. Not my kind of scent, but the packaging on this line is really pretty. And then Fresh Starch, Sage, and Cedarwood. So, oh, here's one more. I didn't even notice that one. Breathe Deep Eucalyptus Lavender. That one I think is not new. And then we have Strawberry Pound Cake back again. I wanted to show you guys, though, the Diamond Shimmer Mist I thought was really pretty. Um, out of everything in the collection, I would probably get that one, but I don't use Diamond Shimmer Mist, so I will not be getting that. But I did like that, and I also liked the Moisturizing Body Wash. I thought that was a really pretty packaging. It is $16.95, though, so I had to wait for my coupon to up in price. Um... So what they are doing is the old coupons used to be in the app. They used to be worth something of $16.50 value. So since that was $16.95, I can't get it until they up the value to $16.95, which is supposed to happen soon, I think, um, hopefully by February so that we can start using our new um, coupon price that's in the app. So I just want to show you guys that little strawberry pound cake lip gloss. So I thought it was really cute. And then we have these random three wick collections, vanilla and peach tea. This is always a weird time for candles at Bath and Body Works because they're like trying to do summer. Um, they don't quite do spring. They just go straight to summer or like these aromatic kind of scents under the magnolia tree, for instance, um, which is a little more floral and not my type of speed but we have sea salt and balsam um gosh victoria you're going a little shaky here we have pink lilac and vanilla another one that's not my favorite but i would definitely say that that is more of a spring scent they're trying with that they're trying the kind of floral scents for spring and then my store still had some 75 percent off so we have winter candy apple this whole frosted coconut snowball line twisted peppermint so much ice sugar plum which i was surprised about because they did not have that when I came to the store like a couple weeks ago. Um, so I guess they restocked, but they also had some sweet cinnamon pumpkin in here and then some from that uh, Constellation line and Golden Eclipse and Vanilla Me Noel. We've seen that before, so nothing new here. Um, and then they did have the newer line of things as far as the Pearberry and the um, Pink Lily Bamboo, Blackberries and Basil. Sea Island Shore. All of this was 75% off, so that was a good deal. I'm seeing some white pumpkin and chai sprays that I didn't pick up, <laughs> and a Bonfire Bash body cream, which honestly I should have bought, but I did not buy it. They also had some cinnamon donut swirl left over from the summer SAS, which I thought was interesting, and so much fall. They had marshmallow pumpkin latte, blueberry sugar pancake, champagne apple, and honey, so a ton of fall stuff still left over. A random strawberry soda and a thousand wishes in here um and a few you're the ones in the body cream i guess that's the old body cream formula so they're trying to get rid of it a couple random midnight amber glows and pumpkin pecan waffles um which i know a lot of you guys absolutely adore and then over here we have some more of the christmas scents just the generic holiday traditions ones so nothing special there um, some more soda ones and fresh coconut colada in the body lotion, frosted coconut snowball. Oh, and this was fun. A uh, whipped body, what was that? I don't know, soap and a sweet whiskey. That was the first time I'd seen sweet whiskey in a while. And then we have the little mini section. So of course we have among the clouds, not really any new hand lotions, which is what I was looking for. Um, they still have some dream brights. I did notice though the Among the Clouds little mini shower gel. It was the same kind of packaging as the full size. I thought that was really fun. Um, and then over here we have a few new lip glosses and I did find this new vanilla lip scrub, which I thought was cool, but it is $10.95. That is astronomical for the price. That's ridiculous. Um, some more springtime 
um, pocket backs. This one's definitely like a summer type one, but I don't like the shape of that. It's like a teardrop. I don't know. These are gorgeous though for every day. I absolutely love those little lantern kind of wallflower plugs. I have one downstairs in like my foyer. So when people walk in and you know, it's dark outside, you can still see. Um, I did notice this newer summery collection, coconut sandalwood. That's one of my favorites for the summertime. It's really, really nice. And they have this traveler's collection. So we have Weekend in Rome here, which is Prosecco and Peaches. This one actually smelled amazing. I would definitely recommend to get that one if you like that kind of Prosecco scent. Cafe in Venice, which I'm pretty sure is just uh, Paris Cafe. Uh, that's exactly what it smelled like. And then Indigo Paradise, which we've seen that one before. Some more Champagne Toast. And Sailing the Med Mediterranean is Sea Salt and Sails. We've seen that one before. And then the last one, Springtime in Paris, which is Springtime in Paris. <laughs> Oh no, there is a Maui one. Yes, Sunset in Maui. I think this one's really adorable. The packaging is really pretty. And this one is a papaya scent. So that one was really, actually, that one smelled good. And let's get to the haul. Okay, you guys, we are back in the car. There was so much more than I was expecting. Um, so much new stuff, especially candles. Um, and I almost got a candle, but honestly, $16.95 is too much to pay for a candle for me. So I'm gonna have to wait for like a 1650 candle sale or something, but I'm like heating up in this car. So I'm gonna show you the haul that I got because I did pick up a few things. So they did still have 75% off stuff going. So I got another Midnight Amber Glow body cream. This was like 430. And then I got a lemon poppy seed hand soap for $1.87. And then I had two free coupons. So I did get a fresh coconut and cotton shower gel. Really excited to have this one. I need something fresh in my life in the shower. And then among the clouds in the shower gel. I'm excited to try this one, see how it is. Sounds like something that's right up my alley, but I really couldn't get a read for it in the store. So I'm excited to try it and see how I think about it. But yeah, that's everything for this video. Let me know down below. Are you guys kind of not shopping yet until, you know, waiting a little while because of SAS? Or are you already in the stores and already bought the new stuff? Let me know down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.